All right, well, you are in for a real treat because this next gentleman is also here. His name is Mike Marino. Give him a nice hand. Mike Marino! People ask me all the time, are you really Italian? Your family really from Italy? My mother just turned 80 years old. She moved to New Jersey when she was 14. My mother's so Italian, she never worked a job. She never drove a car. Her whole life was dedicated to making food. That's what my mother did. <laughs> now, you don't understand, my mother made food for 50 people every single day. They weren't there, but just in case they came. <laughs> there was food waiting for everybody. And ever, whenever my mother was done making that food too, and everybody was done eating, my mother always said the same thing to one of her kids. They all better get a good look at this food that I just made, because this is the last time I'm cooking. I'm not gonna do it no more, especially a holiday. 45 years in a row is the last time my mother's cooking for Thanksgiving. She's not gonna do it no more, till Christmas comes. And then she'll cook and say the same thing. This is the last time I'm cooking for Christmas. You know why? Because your relatives don't appreciate when your mother cooks. You think they come over the house with coffee and cake or bring me some coffee and cake. You understand what your mother's trying to tell you? And I'm getting too old now. I can't be doing it no more. Somebody else in our family should take a turn and cook. I'll tell you what you do. Call your Uncle Leo. Tell him I said, take a picture of all your relatives eating because this is it. This is the last time I'm cooking. <laughs> my mom has been saying this for so long and so often that I strongly believe it was my mother's greatest ancestor that was responsible for the Last Supper. <laughs> and I could picture my mother in biblical times because my mother would have yelled at everybody. My mother would have been like, Jesus Christ, come here. Stand over here, put your hair in a ponytail and put your slippers on. You know what I don't like when you're dressed like this. Now let me tell you something about your friends, Jesus. These boys you keep calling the apostles. They don't appreciate when I cook. You'd think they'd offer me bread and wine or come over to the house with some bread and wine. You understand what your mother's trying to tell you? And I'm getting too old now. I can't be doing it no more. Somebody else in our family should take a turn and cook. I'll tell you what you do. You call your friend Leonardo da Vinci, okay? You tell him I said, paint a picture of all your friends eating, because this is it. This is the Last Supper. <laughs> my mother would feed you. If you walked in the door, she'd go like this, say, you hungry? And you'd say no. And she goes, why, you don't like my food? <laughs> And Here's then she'd the thing. Look at me and go, who the hell is this guy anyway that he don't want to eat in your mother's house? Here's the thing. Here's the and thing she'd about. Curse. <laughs> here's the thing about your mother, Mike. Yeah. And I only know what you've told me. Your mother does not feel mother. appreciated. <laughs> this is the last time I'm cooking. What? You don't like my food? Am I right? She does it all the time. If we called her on the phone but right she doesn't now feel and said, appreciated. could you make something? She'd say, all right, you could do it, but uh, this is the last time I'm going to do it, so hurry up over. And I said, well, I'm coming over with my friend. Is he Italian? No. Nah, don't bring him. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you, no kids for you at all. That's it. I don't have any children. I don't want, know if I'm going to do not it. Not at all. Nah. What if you met some, like, 30-year-old? Who had kids? No. <laughs> No, some 30-year-old who wanted kids. Because apparently when they're 30, they want kids. I mean, wait a couple years till she changes her mind. I don't know. <laughs> you think you would be good with kids? I'd be a great father. Are you kidding me? I'd start them out as little mobsters. I'd make them go commit crimes in kindergarten and shit. No timeouts. That would be funny. Yep, no timeout unless you whacked the wrong guy. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Imagine having like a five-year-old kid. You send them to kindergarten. You dress them like a wise guy. Yeah, yeah. He smokes fake cigarettes. Hey, teach, come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> no, I think that's a good idea. I think you'd be a good father. I'd be a great father, but I want to be about? the president of the United States, so I don't want to have any kids. They'll get in the way of me running the country. I'm going to run. You're running for president? Yeah. And think about what? it. If we had a wise guy run the country, a mob boss in the White House, Who'd mess with America? You ever smoke pot? All the time. Do you really? I smoked before I came in the door. <laughs> you got a card? I got a license. You got a card to get a yes. marijuana? Uh -huh. And how, how much can you get a week? As much as you want. Was it hard to get a card? No, I went in there and I said, I have a toe problem. 7-Eleven? I went to see the doctor. Oh, a doctor. And, and I you asked, told me had a toe problem. I said, we'd really like to get some marijuana. And they said, you have to have an ailment. And I says, oh, well, my toe hurts. Now I got the marijuana for two years. <laughs> All right, nice hand for Mike Marino. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mike. Very much.